We covered using service level indicators to measure the reliability of our services and using service level objectives to set reliability targets in our first episode. But what happens when our service has a problem and we start burning error budget? How can we configure alerting to let us know that our users are unhappy while managing our operational load? Today, I'm going to show you how to calculate and use error budget burn rate thresholds as an optimum approach to your alerting setup. Welcome to Engineering for Reliability with Google Cloud. To help us, let's review Chapter 5 of the SRE workbook called Alerting on SLOs. If you haven't read it before, no worries. We'll link to it in the episode notes below. The main thing we need to take away from that chapter is that the best way to have sufficiently sensitive alerts while at the same time reducing false positives is to use multi-window, multi-burn rate alerts. But first, what's a burn rate? Air budget burn rate is a measure of how fast, relative to your SLO, your service consumes air budget. For example, a service that has exactly zero air budget left at the end of the SLO evaluation period has a burn rate of one. A service that consumes all of its air budget halfway through the SLO evaluation period has a burn rate of two, and so on. We calculate our burn rate by looking at three main inputs, the SLO and its evaluation period, the amount of air budget consumed or burned, and the window over which that burn happens. That's our alerting window. Let's walk through a specific example. Let's say our service has an availability SLO of 95% over a rolling 28-day window. We want to know if we're having a problem that's impacting end users. A great place to start is to create an alert that lets us know that we've consumed 2% of our error budget in the last hour. We use this equation to calculate the burn rate threshold for our alert, which is 13.44. We also want to know if we're seeing a slower burn rate too, 5% of error budget in 6 hours. This time, our burn rate threshold is 5.6. We want our alert to notify us only when we're still actively burning error budget to reduce the number of false positives. To do this, we'll create both of our alerts with two windows, a long window and a short window. A good starting place is to make the long window 12 times as long as the short window. By using multi-window alerts, we keep our detection time low and minimize our reset time so that the alert doesn't keep firing once the incident has been mitigated. Okay, that was a lot. The main thing to remember at this point is that we can use air budget burn rate alerts to detect issues with our service long before our SLO is actually threatened. Now, let's have a look at how to set them up in cloud operations. Start at the dashboard page, select monitoring from the products menu, and click on services. Here's a service with an availability SLO defined, but no alerts configured. The SLO is evaluated over a rolling 28-day window. In order to create an error budget burn alert for the SLO, you need to specify two things. The first one is the lookback duration, or the window over which the error budget burn rate is evaluated. The second entry is the burn rate threshold, or the value of the burn rate that must be true over the lookback window for the alert to fire. To configure a fast error budget burn rate alert that'll fire if 2% of error budget is burned over an hour, set the lookback duration to 60 minutes and the burn rate threshold to 13.44. For a slow burn alert that'll fire if 5% of error budget is burned over 6 hours, set the lookback duration to 360 minutes and the burn rate to 6. Name your alerting policy. Specify your notification settings for the alert. Provide any documentation or additional information that should be delivered with the alert. And save the alert policy. Finally, confirm that the alert has been created. Now, if the availability of the service degrades, the alert will fire and an incident will be created. We've configured an alert based on the error budget burn rate threshold, but what happens when it fires? Let's have a look. Let's see what happens when an error budget burn rate threshold alert fires. From the services overview page, we can see that we have a service with an SLO alert firing. We can show just those services with firing alerts. We can go to service details to confirm that we have an unhealthy SLO with a firing alert. We can expand the SLO to confirm that we're seeing a degradation in our service level indicator. On the air budget tab, we can confirm that we're starting to see additional air budget burn. Further down, we can see the logs being generated by the logs for our service. In this case, we're seeing an increased number of 500 server error logs, confirming that our service is currently having an issue. Thanks for joining me today. 
We covered a lot. You learned about why alerting on error budget burn is a great way to balance keeping your users happy against operational overload. We then figured out how to calculate error budget burn rates and saw how to use them to set up alerting for your services and cloud operations. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to never miss out on more engineering for reliability with Google Cloud. See you soon.